Yo guys, what is good? It's your boy Jamong here back again with another video and today we got my first pair of sneakers from Hoka. So you guys heard correct. Today, I'm reviewing my first pair of Hoka's. Before this, I've never owned a pair of Hoka's before, and I was just really interested and curious in trying out the brand to see what's so great and comfortable about their sneakers. All right, so before I get into the actual sneakers, I wanted to show you guys some footage of me unboxing them. Now, when I did get them in the mail, I had COVID at the time, so they just came right to my room, and I was gonna wait for an actual unboxing to do a whole review, but then just sitting in my room all day and having COVID, I was just really excited to unbox a new pair of sneakers for myself. I wasn't in any shape to film. I did not want to do a horror view on it. I was all gross and sick. So I didn't show my face, but I did end up unboxing the sneakers. So yeah, let's cut to some footage of me unboxing the shoe. Let's go. All right, so for those of you guys who do not know, at this moment, I currently have COVID. And I got this box in the mail yesterday. I'm really excited to finally unbox these shoes. Now, originally, I was gonna wait for the time that I film to actually unbox these. However, given that I'm in quarantine right now, I'm bored out of my mind, and I, I don't think I'm in the best shape to film, but I still wanna see these shoes for myself, and I honestly cannot wait. So we're gonna unbox this right now. You won't be able to see my face, but at least you guys can unbox the shoe with me because I just really, really want to know what these feel like. So yeah, let's get it. All right, let's see if I can do it with one hand without cutting the box, the shoe box open. <laughs> All right, so far we got it good. I gotta use my leg to kind of guide my blade, make sure it doesn't fly all over the place. But I think it's open. Nailing slip out of the way. So as you guys can see, these are from Hoka. And I'm really excited because I've never owned a pair of Hoka's before. I've heard a lot of reviews saying that these are one of the most comfortable sneakers for anyone. And given my profession right now, I could really use a pair of comfy runners that I can just stand in all day and not feel tired. So let's take these out of the box. I slid the box open and let's turn the box around. So we got Hoka's. Actually, let's show the shoe label. Let's show the shoe tag. All right, so here you guys can see these are the Hoka Bandai 8 in a size 10. And let's open it in three, two, one. Woo! In three, two, one. Sheesh. Oh. This blue is actually really, really nice. I like this blue a lot. It's like not too dark. It's very wearable. Wow. These are beautiful. Now, this color was hard to find. This is why I had to buy them on Fleet Feet. I've never heard of Fleet Feet before that. But on Hoka's website and like Foot Locker, they were all sold out in my size for this colorway. But I just really like this colorway a lot. It's so wearable. It's like so muted, so neutral. And yeah, I think the most important part now is how they feel on feet. I'm really excited to show you guys. Hopefully these are a shoe that I definitely enjoy keeping in my collection. And yeah, we'll just skip over to the review. Hopefully by then I'll have some insight on how they feel like on feet. But for now, let's just get back to the regular video. Whoosh. All right, now that I am all better, I'm finally ready to do a review on the Hoka Bandai 8s. And I am so freaking excited for this pair of sneakers. I just wanted to see what all the rave was about when it comes to Hoka's. I know a lot of people have said that they're really comfortable. They're really good for your feet. I just think that as a sneaker collector, even though most of my sneakers are from Nike and Adidas, I'm still really open to trying out other brands and seeing what they have to bring to the sneaker community. Now I know for Hoka's, they have a lot to bring to the table, especially in their comfort and versatility. And I'm really excited to try these out for the first time. So yeah, let's just take them out of the box. In three, two, one, you guys have seen it. Oh, it's actually facing this way. <laughs> let's do that again. In three, two, one, sheesh. 
Man, these are beautiful. I love these a lot. They look even better in person than they did online. So let's just take them out. All right, so now that we got everything set up, I'll talk about why I decided to cop a pair of Hoka's for myself. So back in December when I was in Disney World, you know, I was waiting in line for a long time. I was walking all day, on my feet all day, and I was wearing a pair of Yeezy Turtle Doves. Even with the boost technology, I'm gonna be completely honest, my feet hurt a lot. I just felt like they weren't optimal for walking all day in a park. However, I just saw a lot of people in the park wearing a pair of Hoka's. Now these people weren't even sneakerheads. They weren't anything about the hype. I could just tell they were just there with your families, but they were wearing a pair of Hoka's. Not only did they look good, but they looked really comfy on their feet. And I just saw a lot of sleek silhouettes that I really wanted to check out for myself I wanted to see what all the hype was about with Hoka's and it wasn't until after I copped and tried on my first pair of Hoka Banda 8s That I realized that those people were the smartest people in the park Now I could imagine that they had these on their feet all day and they did not feel pain or aches and that's just how comfortable the Hoka Banda 8s are. Now, looking for a specific colorway, I wanted to choose one that didn't look too similar from my other shoes in my collection. And immediately, I just saw this polar blue pair and I fell in love. Now, this pair is so clean. It's so nice. I just love how it's so muted, but the blue just pops in your face. Now, unfortunately, on Hoka's website, these were sold out in my size. And I was kind of sad about that. Then I tried to check Dick's Sporting Goods. They were also sold out in my size. It wasn't until I checked Fleet Feet and I saw that, you know, they had my whole size. They had a whole size run of these. And I was like, I got to cop them immediately. So, yes, I was able to cop these in a size 10 in my true to size. And I'm so happy that I was able to find it somewhere because I couldn't imagine myself copying a pair of Hoka's in any other color better than this. Now, I saw a lot of neutral colorways that were like in white and tan and gray. Now, again, that's just really basic. I feel like I have a lot of sneakers that already look like that. I just want something with a little pop of color, but something that you could also wear every single day. And this is exactly what the polar blue colorway gives off. I love how this blue is very, very toned down. So it's honestly very subtle. At the same time, it's a really, really nice shade of blue. I feel like no one could disagree with the fact that this is a clean sneaker. All right, so now going into the sneaker, starting off with the upper, we do have a mesh construction running throughout the shoe. Now it's designed to be breathable given that the mesh includes several perforation areas. I can imagine for people who especially like to run in these that you probably don't feel really sweaty when you're wearing these. I feel like it's a really breathable sneaker overall. Moving up to the laces, we have the same polar blue tone that is designed to blend in with the rest of the sneaker. I love how it looks so clean. And then moving up to the tongue, we do have some branding, obviously, it says Hoka Bandai 8 and that's screen printed into the tongue. And then moving over to the outer medial part of the sneaker, we do have that Hoka branding that you pretty much see on every single Hoka sneaker. Now, I'll be honest, that's one thing that I never really liked about Hoka, that their logo is just the name of their brand. Unlike Nike, which is a swoosh or Adidas, that's three stripes. It's just something that's really subtle. However, for Hoka, it literally just says Hoka throughout the sneaker. I always felt like that's really tacky and not really creative. On the other hand, one thing that I really like about this specific sneaker in this colorway is that the Hoka branding is very subtle. So you could hardly see it. It kind of just, it's there, right? But it does not overwhelm the sneaker. You know, if you are looking from afar, it would be hard to tell that these are a pair of Hoka's because you can't see the text. And I like that a lot. I just like the subtleness of the branding it's it's a really nice touch to this sneaker again this is why this color really works for me and i love this a lot one thing i wanted to talk about is the sock lining of the sneaker and it's really cushioned it's very soft again this is something that's just supposed to be made comfortable i know that hokas are great for teachers and nurses and as a teacher myself i felt like i needed a pair of sneakers where i can stand all day in my feet in and not get tired and I can't wait to try these out on the job. I think I was just looking for a pair of comfortable sneakers that are not too hyped, that I could wear every single day, and it doesn't matter if I ruin them. I think that the Hoka Banda 8s are just a perfect sneaker for me to wear on everyday life. Honestly though, because the colorway is so nice, I'm a little scared to see what these are gonna look like very dirty. And I have a feeling, I don't know, these might be very hard to clean. It depends, I gotta see first. I know the mesh will be easy, but the foam, 
I, I don't really know if that's gonna stain. Which brings me into the discussion of the midsole right here. And as you guys can see, this midsole is very, very chunky. It looks like there's a lot going on. But let me tell you guys, with the polar blue and the white panel stacked on top of one another, this is all foam and it's designed to be very responsive, very comfortable. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun wearing. I would say in terms of comfortability, the Hoka Bunna 8s are more cushioned and padded rather than very plush and soft. You know, if you're looking for something that feels like you're walking on clouds, I would say the Ultra Boots are a great sneaker. However, for something that's very responsive, for something that feels very cozy on your feet, I think the Hoka's are a great sneaker. So definitely, comfortability has different aspects of it. Now, this sneaker might cover one aspect of it, but there might be other sneakers that are better if you're trying to feel like you're walking on a cloud. And then moving into the inner rear of the sneaker, we do have that Hoka branding once again. Now, this is usually featured on the O of the Hoka, as you guys can see. And this is a more subtle branding, and I, I like that a whole lot better. I feel like Hoka probably should have stuck with this rather than having the entire name written across their sneaker. But in going back into the midsoles, now when I bought this, I was really worried that this was gonna feel like a really chunky sneaker. I felt like this wasn't going to be a sneaker that would go with a lot of pants. However, I will say that despite this sneaker having a very chunky midsole, it is still very versatile. You can wear this with pretty much any single pants. If you like skinny jeans, this is a pretty slim design because the upper is very slim. And even though the midsole is very chunky it doesn't expand outwards you could wear this with pretty much any pants and especially with workwear i feel like this will look really good now going into the insoles of the sneaker as you guys can see once again we do have hoka bandai 8 written in yellow and i wanted to talk about how thick this midsole is i know you guys can't feel it but there is a lot of padding here that is meant to be supportive for your feet so again those people who are standing in line at Disney World wearing Hoka's, they are smart. Me wearing a pair of Yeezy V1s that don't have as much boost as the, even the V2s, that was a mistake on my end. But the Hoka's, smart choice. They look great, they go with everything. And yeah, these are probably one of the most comfortable runners that anyone can have. And I also wanted to make a shout out to my boy Chris for putting me onto Hoka's because he worked in podiatry and he told me that Hoka's are probably the best sneaker when it comes to responsiveness for your feet. And these are excellent. So thank you, Chris. I love that you suggested these sneakers for me. And I know for a fact that you and I both are a huge fan of this blue colorway. So yeah, overall, it's just a really basic sneaker. There's not much going on to it, but there's so much to be unpacked when it comes to the function and versatility of this sneaker. I love this a lot. And I can't wait to show you guys what these look like on feet. Now, in terms of sizing, I will have to say that they do fit true to size if your foot is narrow. However, the good thing about Hoka is that they do offer sizing in a wider range. So if you want it like a size 10, you can get a size 10 wide and it would just be a little bit wider on the width. It wouldn't feel so constricted. But given that I am narrow footed, these fit perfectly on my feet. So here we have it, the Hoka Bandai 8 in that cloud blue colorway. This is a beautiful sneaker. I never really thought that I've ever owned a pair of Hoka's before, but I'm really excited that I finally do have a pair because these are really nice. Now, just a word of advice for any sneaker collector that only buys from Nike and Adidas, try other brands because you never know what you're missing out on. I know for a fact that a couple of years ago, I never thought I would ever own a pair of Hoka's, but now I realize how much comfortable Hoka's are compared to most Nike sneakers. So yeah, definitely, definitely look into a pair of Hoka's if you have not had the chance. But now I would like to hear from you guys what are your thoughts of Hoka as a brand? Have you ever owned a pair before and what do you think? Let me know what down in the comments because I do want to hear from you guys. And if you guys like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys want to hear more from me, smash the subscribe button, guys. I have hit 500 subscribers and I'm very grateful for all that. But now I need a certain amount of watch hours to make sure that I get monetized. Right now, I'm currently sitting at like 2,500. I need 3,000. So if you guys could please, please, please continue to support me throughout the way, I will reach monetization soon. And I'm so thankful for all the support you guys have given me, whether you know me personally or not, I'm just really grateful. With all that being said, these are the Hoka Bandai 8s. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.